Hello, welcome to Joy of Creation. This is part number three, and I believe the next part is called The Office after completing the living room last time. So let's dive straight in, not waste any more time. Let's go. The Office. Office time. So I believe we're playing Scott yes. Cawthon's family. What I saw was just a bad dream. Something that couldn't possibly have been real. Why would it? Don't know, Scott. You tell me. Beings coming to get a helpless child. You tell me, mate. Poking their heads out from under the bed. Peeking through the closet. Mom came to rescue me. Picked me up and carried me away. That was after the living room, right? That's after the living room. I've never been a crybaby, though. Even when I was a kid. People have told me they've never seen me cry. Or yell. Or even... That's about to change, son. Wait till you see my videos. They'll make you cry. Even though I never made a peep. As I was being taken outside by my mother, away from the nightmare, I still vividly remember hearing my own screams. Fucking hell. Jesus. <laughs> There's the child's Nick? scream. Nick! Huh? Is this house haunted? I don't understand. How are all the animatronics everywhere because they can't be in the living room and they can't be in the kids bedroom at the same time oh my god is that freddy that's freddy holy shit how is he here what are you now how is he i don't i don't get how he's in scott's house in real life Oh, oh my god, they can fucking run! I've never seen the animatronics run like that before. This? My god. Help! Somebody help! Mel! Nick! Anthony! Sam! Where are you? Yeah, this is terrifying. Terrifying stuff! This is nightmare fuel! Scott's got a huge house though. Uh. And a very nice triple monitor setup down there. I see that, Scott. I see that three monitor setup. So how is this chapter going to work? Because every single chapter so far, the previous two introduced a new mechanic. All right. All right. It has been, I don't know, hours, days. Oh my God. I don't think it matters here anymore. There's a Chica oh, poster. Well, Let's eat. There's a cat calendar. How cute. Um, I, I've left these messages for myself to uh, remember, uh, help me remember what they do, how they act. He's left them for himself. So are we in the past? The storyline keeps, keeps on surprising me. Oh, what the fuck? What do we do? I don't know what we do. We've already seen Freddy. We should have just grabbed him. We should have fucking grabbed the guy. Fucking 619 him. Oh, we can move the cameras. Oh, how do we, is there a way to make the, the camera lighter? I can't see anything. Oh, there's a red light here. That's cool. I like that. Ah! Well, I just died immediately, and I don't know why. I feel like this is the closest mission so far to the original Five Nights at Freddy's. What does that mean? Oh, it's Freddy. Hey, Freddy. Is that Foxy? Oh, it's Foxy. Goodbye, Foxy. I hear you. It's Freddy. What do I do when Freddy turns up? Do I have to flash him? Oh, I do! Ah! That's cool! I like that! What the fuck? How do I flash them? How do I- how do I flash him once he's there? So is- is- is Chica just gonna have a head stuck through the window the entire time? Do I just sit here and chill out on the monitors then? I don't know how to deal with Chica! A few minutes later... You search for cupcakes. Okay, well that, that changes things. Let's eat! Fuck off, let's not eat. Oh! Hold on, I didn't know, I didn't know I could do that. So I have to, ah, oh, that's how I find the cupcakes. I am an idiot. There's also a fan in this room as well, right over there, you see that? Keeping up with the classic Five Nights at Freddy's lore, I guess. Ah, okay, so there's three cupcakes. There's one. Got one. Where's the third one? I have no idea where the third one's gonna be. There's there's one place I haven't checked. Yeah. 
I got it. I got it. I got it. I knew it. I knew it as soon as I saw it. I was like, it's the bin. It's the fucking bin. It's the bin. Get in the bin, Chica. The only thing you're going to be eating is the taste of sweet defeat, my friend. Okay, this is actually a really cool gameplay mechanic, you know. I'm loving this. So Foxy's- Freddy's on cam three, which is this one. We hit him with a cheeky flashlight. They stay there too long, do we die? Damn it, I- Bonnie just broke one of my cameras. I- I- I, I don't know what happened. He just- and As soon as I realized he was there, he just took it down in one swing. They don't do that. I don't know- Is that Bonnie? No, it's Foxy. Foxy's eager. He's an eager beaver. Okay, don't look at Bonnie. That's the moral of the story. We avoid the gaze of the bunny rabbit Bonnie. Okay. Camera's broken. Sick. Wait, how long does it take to get- How long is it- Oh my god. So, if the monitor's broken, is it useless for the rest of the night? Do I have to reset it or something? It's over. Right, I can, do, I can just do it without, can't I? I'm not gonna make it to the, to the end of the night. It's four o'clock. It's four in the fucking morning. Of course, of course. Cool. Two cupcakes. Can I actually do this without? Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I obviously can't do it. If Bonnie takes out the monitor, it's hopeless. Oh, that's a foxy. I can hear a foxy. Got him. Is he middle as well? Yeah, he's middle as well. There's a cupcake in there. This is getting tense, this is. That's another one. Okay, it's left side, but I need to make sure Foxy's not there before we go. He is here. So we'll get rid of him. Then we'll open the door to the left, get the cupcake. Got it. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Ah, Freddy's right side. There's a there's a cupcake in the bin. I can hear it. It's, it's, it's so good being able to hear them. Foxy's at the front. And there's also one left side as well. Ooh. There we go. Okay. There's no there's no Foxy left side. We also got Foxy sorted. For, I mean, Chica sorted out as well. died so close to the end i think it's time for concentration says adam Did I do it? No, no, I didn't do it. This is getting tense. Did I do it? I think I did it. Please tell me I did it. 
<laughs> yes! Oh my god, these, these modes are so, so hard. You don't believe how much concentration you actually, actually need to have to get through these nights. But anyway, news article, new, new law. Addition to the story, cancelled. New FNAF game stop production. Scott Cawthon announces the cancellation of the fifth entry in the popular horror game, Five Nights at Freddy's. Fans are torn on the sudden news. So, clearly something happens inside Scott Cawthon's house which causes him to cancel the game in this universe, right? The, the way these animatronics behave in this game is so strange because they've been in the kids' bedroom, the living room, and the office all in the same night, right? Every single night you've got to survive till 6 a.m., such is the premise of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. But they've all appeared in the same in the same house in different rooms. Maybe Scott Cawthon's house is just haunted. But that was a very good chapter. I enjoyed it, and it was extremely reminiscent of the original Five Nights at Freddy's games. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to stay updated and see part four when it releases. If you'd like to see more horror games, you can click right here to see a video where I played three more scary horror games. Hope you enjoyed and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.